Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Salutation to the most highest men in the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This is your brother Banyam Yun from GMS Mississippi. Uh, today I have an in-transit video uh, going into This Is It. Uh, everybody remembers that album that Michael Jackson had before his death. Uh, you know, because a lot of people, they prophesy uh, before their, 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 their own demise, so to speak, or before their own death. Uh, just like Otis Redding, uh, as he uh, stated in one of his songs, one of his final songs, uh, sitting at, on the dock of the bay. And that's how he actually went out. Still seated in his uh, plane seat on the dock, you know? And that was pretty much how he went out when he crashed. Michael Jackson uh, was talking about This Is It. That was his last album, you know? And the scriptures uh, give, give, give us those same allegories, so to speak, by showing us the, uh, the particular signs of the times. And everything that we see pursuing uh, to the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, uh, when you go into the uh, different particular gospels, all the different signs that the Heavenly Father uh, allow the elect, his hopeful elect, to be able to read and see, interpret and understand uh, such things as plagues, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, uproars of the people in the world. All of these things were set as an omen um, for the elect to know and firmly believe that salvation is nigh and also that destruction lies behind the door or at the door. So the scriptures ask what man, what manner of man ought ye to be, you know, in our holy conversation, so on and so forth. So keeping your eyes single, keeping your eye on, on the prize and not allowing uh, particular distractions to overwhelm you or outweigh your spiritual distractions. Because the spirit war wars against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit constantly. Those are two uh, dualities that you would never be able um, to, to say, okay, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not battling with that. Or that's not one of my fights. That's always going to be one of your fights. That's always going to be something that you're going to deal with. You're always going to have uh, uh, th th that carnal mind or that carnal flesh warring against the spiritual things that you actually desire. Because you can read in the book of Romans, as Paul wrote unto the Romans in chapter 7 and chapter 8, on how those things that I would do, I do not, and those that I would not do, yet I do. Which goes into what? That spirit and that flesh warring against one another. Because even as it was prophesied that Jacob was a Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents, you know, for the most part, Jake likes to be comfortable. Jake likes to take it easy. They like to be at peace with all men if all possible. For the most part. Now you got certain curses upon us that, that have us do the, the contrary. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much all we seek. So that comfort or that, or that laid back spirit that's inside of us comes with an inkling of cardinality because you don't want to do a lot of things. You don't want to do a lot of things that require extra work, require extra uh, meditation or extra thinking and different things of that nature. You just want to chill. You just want to take it easy. And you just want to just be at peace and just do the right thing when it comes down to it, when it boils down to it, you know? But the spirit, the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth, you know? The scriptures goes into, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So all of these things have to take place. All of these things have to take place and be held in their proper, a proper perspective and fashion, which requires discipline. Now the, 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 carnality of man doesn't want you to be spiritual it wants you to be carnal so therefore 
uh, to understand and interpret the scriptures and or, or to be able to understand the spirit that the Heavenly Father has uh, uh, set forth out here in the planet Earth right now, that balance between the spirit and the flesh has to be controlled. So if it's not controlled, then you have a chemical imbalance or a spiritual imbalance. And the scriptures say that uh, uh, that what? That an unjust weight and an unjust balance is an abomination to the Heavenly Father. So as we uh, continue our walk in this truth, continue our walk in this faith, and this labor of love that we do all in the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, it's all ultimately to receive a reward, to receive a recompense. Because salvation is what we desire. The kingdom of heaven is what we're going to obtain regardless. But we want to be those first fruits, you know, who stood boldly, boldly and stiffly in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that he may be well pleased with us. And with him being well pleased with us, that he will definitely uh, be well pleased, pleased to give us the kingdom. To give us those things that he promised unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, you know, for the most part, just a real quick in transit. Just speaking through the spirit, um, not only for inspiration and motivation to myself, but unto those of the same mind. You know, the scriptures say to, to, to keep the, the, the steps of our feet pretty much at the doors of men that are like-minded or that are wise, such as thine self. So, I'm gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the other apostle, great millstone who ruled well, salutations to the most wise men, the elect across the four corners of the earth. Till next time, I say Shalom.